18 by 6 intermittent fasting versus the warrior diet. Which one to choose? We're here to explain how these two fasting methods work, what their pros and cons are, and how to use them for your best health and weight loss experience. Let's see what 18 by 6 intermittent fasting and the warrior diet are. To put it simply, 18 by 6 fasting means that you fast for 18 hours and eat your meals in a 6 hour eating window while the warrior diet is a 20-hour fast, also known as the 20 by 4 intermittent fasting. Even though it's called fasting, it's basically a 20-hour under-eating phase and a 4-hour overeating phase. The warrior diet is based on an initial three-phase plan that helps your body adjust to the changes you're making. Okay, so before going further on how these two patterns work, let's see what pros and cons the 18 by 6 fasting and the warrior diet have. 18 by 6 fasting pros relatively easy to follow and doesn't require lots of effort, beneficial for effective weight loss, decreases inflammation, improves brain health and blood pressure, improves gut health, you're not going to lose muscle, enough time to consume all your calories, may trigger autophagy. However, the 18 by 6 fasting has some cons. You may still have sugar cravings and hunger during the fasting window. You may overeat during your eating window. All right, now let's see what pros the warrior diet has. It's beneficial for effective weight loss, may improve blood sugar and cholesterol, may improve inflammation and cognition, may trigger autophagy. Cons of the warrior diet. It's highly restrictive, may cause nutrient deficiencies. If you do it incorrectly, you may lose muscles. The diet lacks research, may have side effects such as fatigue, irritability, and fainting. As you can see, both methods have their benefits and weaknesses. What suits you best basically depends on your own preference and goals. 18 by 6 is a less strict fasting pattern in comparison to the warrior diet. Yes, it may be challenging not eating for 18 or under eating for 20 hours. You'll have to go through the adjustment period. The best advice is to not dive right into the 18 by 6 fasting or the warrior diet if you've never fasted before. Start with a 14 hour fasting window, then gradually work your way up to 16 hours and then 18 or 20. This way, you'll adapt to new eating regimens. Okay, if you're one of those people who are determined to try one of these methods, then you need to know how to do them right. That's why we made short yet comprehensive guides on how to do the 18 by 6 fasting and the warrior diet. Let's start with the 18 by 6 protocol since it's a bit easier to follow. So how to start the 18 by 6 fasting? Firstly, choose a suitable time frame for eating and fasting. Most people choose to simply skip breakfast since hunger is lowest in the morning and eat from noon to 6 p.m. Before starting this method, you need to know that your eating window is quite small, so you have to manage to consume all your calories in 6 hours. Remember, this type of fasting is safe as long as you eat enough calories during your eating hours. Basically, you can have two full meals and some healthy snacks. Okay, let us explain how your eating window works. There are a few ground rules for your eating window. Rule number one, focus on healthy eating and limit or completely avoid junk food. Rule number two, eat enough food to make your fasting window easier. You shouldn't consume less than 1200 calories a day. Rule number three, lower your carb intake. It will help you feel less hungry and go longer without eating. Rule number four, add enough fat to your everyday meals. Again, this will help you go longer from one meal to the next one. Rule number five, Add vegetables to every meal since you need them for magnesium, minerals, and all the vitamins. Rule number six, drink loads of water. It's not that difficult to stick to these rules if you'll start planning your meals in advance for non-fasting windows to avoid under-eating or overeating. To make it easier for you, here's the list that you should include in your daily meal plan. Now, let's move on to your 18-hour fasting window. It's pretty easy. During a specific hour, you just stop eating. During the fasting window, you can only drink water, unsweetened black coffee, and tea. 18 hours are challenging, so always pay attention to how your body feels. In the beginning, you may feel a little tired, hungry, and more sensitive. However, hunger often increases on the second day of fasting, but you may lose the sense of hunger on day three or four. But don't push yourself to the limits. When you're starting to feel a headache, weakness, and grouchiness, it means that you have reached the point of strong hunger, and it means it's time to eat. Okay, so now you can start your 18 by 6 with a bang, right? Let's move to the warrior diet and its tricky three-phase plan that needs to be followed carefully. Phase 1, or week 1, detox. The purpose of this phase is to detox your body to afford maximum fat burning. 
In this week, you should eliminate animal protein except for small amounts of certain fresh dairy food and eggs. Let's see how undereating and overeating phases look like during this week. The undereating phase begins from when you wake up until your evening meal. During this phase, you're reducing the amount of food you eat during the 20 hour period. You're allowed to consume food from this list every couple of hours without feeling constantly hungry. You can also drink water and sugarless coffee or tea with a little bit of milk throughout the day in all phases of this diet. The overeating phase begins in the evening and lasts four hours. During the four hour eating window, you can start overeating. You need to stick to healthier choices that you can see on this list. Eat the first serving of food and then take a 20 minute break. The break allows you to understand whether you're full. If you're still hungry, then eat more of the recommended foods. Phase two, or week two, increasing your fat intake. The purpose of this phase is to improve the body's ability to utilize fat for energy. During week two, you continue under eating for 20 hours a day, eating the same foods we listed before on week one. But there are some changes in your four hour overeating window. You can still eat salads with olive oil and vinegar dressing, cooked vegetables, and cheese. But you have to replace beans and legumes with lean animal protein, such as meat and fish. Eat at least one handful of nuts, such as almonds, pecans, and walnuts. You shouldn't eat grains or starches during phase two. Phase three, or week three, alternating phase. The purpose of this phase is to maximize your fat loss. You will have one to two high carb days, followed by one to two high protein and low carb days. Then you rinse and repeat. On high carb days, follow the regular under eating schedule. During your overeating window, you should eat one main carbohydrate of your choice. You can choose one from this list. Also, you can eat the food you were consuming during week two. On high protein days, undereat as normal. When your eating window begins, eat a salad with oil and vinegar, and then up to 450 grams of animal protein and non-starchy vegetables. During this phase, do not eat grains or starches. Remember that in all phases of the warrior diet, you should avoid junk or fried foods, processed meats, sweets, and sweetened beverages. What happens after these initial three weeks during the warrior diet? Well, you either repeat the phases all over again or stick to the third phase. So yes, as you can see, both methods are challenging yet manageable. Find out more fasting benefits by checking our next videos on fasting for weight loss and brain health.